Today I'm going to make a set of hand-built tumblers. So I'm starting off by rolling out a slab on a slab roller and you just take your clay and put it between two pieces of canvas and compress it uh, gradually as you go and it will come out to be different shapes and then you can turn it so that you get the shape that you would like and I would like a big wide super thin piece of clay or slab of clay so I'm taking off the ends here so that it doesn't squish out beyond the canvas now this is um, porcelain clay and uh, if you get it thin enough which I'm trying to get it to be about an eighth of an inch thick um, if you get it thin enough you can see light through it which is really exciting to me so now you can lift the clay with the canvas and then just peel the canvas away and you've transported the clay onto your work surface without stretching it and then you can compress it and remove any of the canvas texture and I took some templates that I made from file folders to cut out about five tumblers and I flip over these sections smooth them out on the other side and then uh, impress an, um, texture into them with a texture board that I made um, and then I also impressed that same texture into the bases of the tumblers so after you impress them you have to then re-trim them back down because they expand every time you compress them which is great because they keep getting thinner and thinner but it is porcelain clay but here you take that porcelain and you can roll it up and stand it up right away which is fabulous because then you can give it a memory of a cylinder a few days later I took it home and uh, scratched it and slipped it and compressed it together and then I reinforced all the joins with pieces that I cut off of the of the porcelain I made little coils and put them in all of the joining areas and uh, smoothed those in and then smoothed all the connections around the outside. You want to get it as smooth as possible. Also you want to bevel the, the drinking edge and then smooth out anything that's rough, any imperfections because they all show up in the end. They're amplified. So the smoother and more time that you take with it now the happier you'll be later. And here they are ready to go into the kiln and there they are fired. I waxed the bottom and then now I'm glazing it with a transparent glaze. And it's a cone 10 glaze and the tumblers are going to get fired in a gas kiln. So here they are finished and they turned a little bit blue. It was a reduction fire and I'm really happy with the way they turned out. So some of them came out quite thin, others not so much, but uh, to show you what happens if you get it thin enough, I'm going to hold one up to the light so you don't see through it normally. But when you take it up to the light, you can even see my fingers and the pattern from the other side, which to me is super exciting. Anyway, thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed it.